Welcome back to Guns.com, everybody. I'm Ben Brown, and today we're looking at the Beretta M9. The Beretta M9 needs no introduction. This is an iconic gun. It has had a lengthy service career starting in 1985 and recently retired in 2018. It was replaced by Sig Sauer's P320. I recently did a review on the 320. Go check that out if you get a chance. This gun is a awesome gun. It's a little dated. It's a 30 plus year old design, but it still has a lot of great qualities. Recently, there has been a revival in the hammer fired pistol, single action, double action. It takes a little bit more skill to run, in my opinion, because that first press is heavier, longer. It's a little bit more difficult. For, so for some of those people that want to challenge, that want to maybe tune up an old style gun, I think the Beretta M9 is a great candidate. Let's look at some of the specs and what makes this gun so great. The Beretta M9 is a full-size fighting handgun. It's heavier, it's got a full-size grip, a nice long slide and barrel on top. You're gonna get two mags with it. They are 15 rounders. Nice part about these guns since they've been around so long, mags are all over the place. Make sure you inspect them, make sure they're in good working condition, but you can find Beretta mags everywhere. The grips on the side here can be replaced, but they do have some checkering. You can put VZ grips on here if you want some G10 grips. Those are a nice touch. Mag release is large, so it really shoots those magazines out of there nice and easily. For those of you that don't know, this is a hammer fired gun. So at the back here, you're gonna see a hammer. It's got a hole in it, skeletonized a little bit, and it has a decocker and safety. This decocker and safety can be a point of contention for a lot of people because it's kind of counterintuitive to decock and put on safe, you're swiping down when really I feel like it's probably better to push that up for a decock and to put on safe. Now they do make conversion kits out there if you want to switch that, but the Bread M9 has an ambidextrous safety and decocker and you are going to push the decocker and safety up to make this gun hot. Moving forward, the slide has an open top design. This adds to this gun's reliability. There's not a lot that can go wrong here. Because of this open top design, brass, dirt, doesn't really get stuck jammed up here. The really only issue you might run into as far as malfunctions go is failure to fire, light primer strikes. But even that is going to be very rare. This hammer is hits hard and is very reliable. So. There's not a lot to go wrong with the Beretta M9. Obviously, its lengthy service career is, is a testament to its reliability, and I really like the open top design. Just makes it really, really easy to keep things out of the chamber, clogging up the works. Sights on top are pretty simple. They, I have a white dot up front, and you cannot remove this. It is a part of the top slide, so it is what it is. You're not getting anything else. Back here, we have a rear aperture that is dovetailed in there. You could swap that out if you wanted to, but again, the front side, front sight is in there to stay. Underneath on the frame, no rail. So if you wanted to run this as a concealed carry gun and you put a light on it, that's not a possibility. There are other variants of the Beretta that do have the accessory rail. So if that's more your speed, you might want to check those out. But as far as the Beretta M9 goes, it's slick up there. We do have some checkering on the front of the trigger guard. So if you're a guy that likes to wrap his finger around the front, you do have some texture there. But also if you were to jam this into a barricade or a door frame, it's gonna give a little texture, a little grip there when you're shooting it. The Breda is heavy. Again, it's a full size service handgun, but I like heavy guns because it's easy to manage that recoil. Not that the nine millimeter is stout, but you can get a really soft shooting gun if you have a heavy frame and slide chambered in nine millimeter. It keeps this nose down and shooting flat, allows you to make follow up shots really, really easily. The double action trigger is heavy, but smooth. It's around 12 pounds. It is kind of hard to get used to if you're a big striker fired shooter, but Brenna made it as easy as possible with this trigger, I think. It's, it's pretty smooth, but heavy. The single action is nice and short and crisp. So again, after the first shot, every subsequent shot after that is gonna be single action until you run dry. 
There are a lot of folks out there doing work on the Beretta M9s. There's tons of aftermarket support, support for these guns. Again, because they've been around so long. Holsters, parts, trigger upgrades, magazines, all sorts of stuff to help you with your Beretta M9 journey. Again, some of this stuff has been well loved because it's used, it's been around so long, so make sure you're inspecting all those components that you're looking to pick up for your Beretta M9, but you're, there isn't gonna be any shortage of those parts and pieces. I really like shooting this gun. This is the most time I've ever spent with a Beretta M9. I shot this quite a bit. Just a really fun gun to shoot. And it, again, it's a unique skill to shoot a double single action handgun. It is, it's a little challenging, but it's really, really fun. Guys, the Beretta M9, classic, needs no introduction, needs no praise. Even though this gun's been sent into retirement, I think it still has a great future on the civilian market for shooters all over the country. Guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to guns.com. Leave me a comment down below on your feelings about the Beretta M9. I know a lot of you guys out there have probably used it in the service. Definitely wanna hear from you guys. My name's Ben Brown. Thank you for watching guns.com. We'll see you on the next video.